So come on then. Who's it gonna be, Alicia? I choose you. You choose me? Yes. You, Jade, Kiernan. You're all my friends. My forever friends. And I don't want to lose that. I see you've returned. I most certainly have. Can we go straight through? Yeah, sure. Brill. Also love. Just remember. Crank up the machine this time. I need more UV exposure. Yes, I remember. Go on through and I'll sign you in on the system. Yeah, so anyway. I told Alicia to choose between us or Jess and Portia. And she chose us. So it means we will see a lot more of her hopefully. That's good news. I've missed her. Yeah. I mean it's not like we are still in school and Elish's mom is still controlling her every move and who can be friends with her. Anyway. You seem happier lately. How are you doing? I feel happier. I took into account what you said. And you're right. I need to get over what we did to Miss Trajar Red. I need to start living properly again. That's good. I'm glad you've seen sense. Here you are, Daisy. Have another one. I don't want another Bentley. Go on. Have another shot. I said no. What? Why not? I don't want to keep drinking all my problems away. I can't deal with not knowing how Elisha is. I feel like a bad mother. Oh shut up with this stupid family nonsense. Poor me blah blah. Elisha blah blah. All you do is whine. Family means nothing to you Daisy. If it did you would have a shred of self-respect, not have a fling with justice all those years ago. Perfect family? Don't make me laugh. Well look at your own family Bentley. Your dad was a psycho. Your wife died. You're drinking yourself away. You barely know your grandson because his name is the same as your dad's. And now I see a similarity between you and your dad. You're both horrible people. Oh sling your hook woman. Don't you dare slag off my family. Get out! So how do you feel after that treatment on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being amazing, 1 being no satisfaction? Sorry love. Just shut up for a minute. My phone is in my bag. Can you call George, my son? And get him to pick me up? I feel a bit dizzy. I can't walk back like this. Sure okay, are you okay? Of course not you silly bitch. I feel dizzy. Well that's what happens when you crank up the machine to give up more UV emissions. Listen Valentina, Beauty Spa can only offer a few more sessions to you by law. You have been for two treatments now. You have three more left. Maybe it's a good idea for you to stop now. No don't even say that how could you? I am very much staying here. I will make use of these last three sessions. Now call my son. Elisha. Hi. What do you want? I am just checking how you are. I want to fix our relationship. Too little, too late. I've moved on. I live here with Ryan now. Is Ryan in right now? No. He said he needed some snacks. It's family games night tonight. Well can I come in? If you must. Well. It's a bit dirty in here. Well yeah. We ran out of snacks. It's always a bit messy on family games night. What games are you playing? Is that Twister? Oh just shut up. All you want is drama in your life. All you do is judge. You can't just jump back into my life and expect us to play happy families. 
There is a pecking order with the people I have relationships and you are on the bottom of the list. Not today, Satan. I'm sorry I didn't mean to intrude. Well, you did. I'm going to the loo. You can show your own way out. Don't let the door hit you either. Right, let's leave this recording device here. They will never know that I've left it here. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I know you were trying to look out for me over this whole Mr. Jar Red thing. I'm glad our relationship is back on track. I think I'm ready to let this go. I'm glad I've got my sister back too. We should compliment each other more often. It does wonders for the morale. Hello. Hi, sorry but we are closed now. We open again tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm not here for anything. I'm here to lay a few things out on the table. I'm sorry but we don't even know you. We won't be making any deals with you. You need to leave. I'm not going anywhere. You see, I overheard something that I didn't like earlier on today. If you want to make a complaint then come back tomorrow. When we are open. I'm not trying to make a complaint. I'm Ryan. Elisha's landlord. And let me guess. You're Rosie. And you must be Fade. It's Jade. I want you both to stay away from Elisha. Yeah right. What are you her bodyguard? Do you want Ryan? No. I'm her landlord. And from what I heard earlier, I think I have you two figured out. I will tell you one last time. Stay away from Elisha. If you don't, you are putting yourself in danger. Was that a threat? No. It was a demand. I have something I can threaten you with. I know what you did to my brother. We don't even know your brother. Just go away, will you? Does the name Michael Jar Red ring any bells? Oh, sorry. It's Mr. Jar Red to you girls, isn't it? Now between you and me, I reckon some nasty little girls left the gas taps on so that he would explode. 